Hello everybody, welcome to Joe's Toy Store. So over 4 billion disposable coffee cups get thrown away each year. They can't be recycled because they have a plastic sheet inside them. So today's product review will be Stojo, an ultra portable, leak proof and reusable cup. So I bought Stojo back in Australia for $24.95 AUD. So that's around 150 Hong Kong dollars. Uh, Stojo is BPA free, uh, made from food grade silicon, the cup and stopper. But most of all, it reduces disposable coffee cups. And this video will be broken down into the following sections. So the first step to prepare Stojo is to open up the drinking tab, remove the heat sleeve, pull the cup out from the bottom, unscrew the lid, pour your drinking, and then screw the lid back on. Now make sure you tighten it fully to prevent spillage. And then after that, insert the heat sleeve and then close the drinking tab. So after you have finished your drink and you want to put it back into the neutral position, all you have to do is just open up the drinking tab. Now this is to release all the trapped air inside the cup. If you don't open the drinking tab, the liquid inside will push out and it will make a mess or it won't work. And then after that, remove the heat sleeve. Also make sure you remove it, if not it won't work also. Gently tuck the cup back into the lid. Okay, now don't do it too hard or the liquid inside may burst out from the drinking hole. Okay, close the drinking tab. Push it in to make it sure it's sealed. Put the heat sleeve back up under the cup. Now the smaller side on top. There you go. So now let's say you get home and you want to clean up your cup. All you have to do is just open up the drinking tab, remove the heat sleeve, pull out the cup, unscrew the lid, and then after that, squeeze the cup, forming a C shape, and pull it out. And then again, if you want to put it back in together, all you have to do is just squeeze the cup, and then put it inside the bottom lid. Just make sure there's a little bit sticking out from the whole circle. So like that, just a little bit. Screw the lid back on. And obviously it depends whether you want to put it back in neutral position or you want to put a drink inside. But whatever suits. Close the lid and then you're done. Okay, so we are going to be doing some tests today. The first one is to try and close the whole stojo with a very little bit of coffee and with the tab open. Okay, so here there's a very tiny little bit. Trying to replicate how when we normally finish a coffee. So just a fraction of it left. Okay, so we'll close the lid. Okay, so here, I'll just push in the drinking tab first, give it a shake, making sure the coffee is all over the whole cup. Okay, now we'll have the tab open here. Okay, now we'll try and push it in, trying to see if there's any coffee spilling. Okay, none. Okay, so I'll close the lid back. Okay, and let's see if I shake it, if there's any coffee that spills out. Now, do note that this table is white. Did this on purpose so that we can actually see if there are any coffee that's visible. None, pretty steady. Okay, now for the second one, okay, we'll have the drinking tab closed while we close out the whole cup. So I'm going to pull this back out carefully. Okay. Now I'll be wiping the cup here so that there's no actual coffee just in case. We'll close this lid. Okay. Now let's see the difference.
can't actually close it with the drinking tab back on. Okay, we'll try it this way. You see, that's where all the air comes in. The air's all inside, so I can't actually force it back in. No, not working. So that means this cup, you have to open up the drinking tab in order for it to close. Okay, just be careful, but it does work. Just not, yeah, very easy. Done. So in my opinion, I think the video showing how people can collapse the cup against the wall is only for show and probably don't have any liquid inside. I think in real life it's not really realistic to do so because you wouldn't want to risk having coffee stains or other liquid stains on yourself. Now, although the cup is made from silicon, I wouldn't be too worried about it being soft once I put some hot liquid into it. It feels steady and plus with the heat sleeve, you can actually have it upside down to become support. So uh, I reckon it's pretty steady, I'm not worried. As for the test result, the cup does prove to be leak proof, so I'm very happy with it and we'll probably use it on an everyday basis. But on the other hand, as the drinking tap may come off, I mean, I wouldn't want to risk it. So if I was to put this in my bag, I would probably put it inside the zipper bag first, then into my backpack. I mean, after all, I probably have a laptop or something inside, so I wouldn't want to risk having coffee or, or soft drink or whatever, like, in my laptop. Now, for $150, uh, Hong Kong dollars, I think it is actually very well worth the buy. Now, most coffee shops normally give you a rebate of $3, uh, three Hong Kong dollars, every time you bring your own cup. So if calculation, calculating based on that, 50 cups, I break even on my 51st and I start saving. Not to mention that I'm very well aware that I will be helping the environment. So I think it's a product that's definitely worth the buy.